since the fifth movie in our series, and in this movie we are going to calculate the percentage of disease damage from multiple plants. We just captured the percentage of disease damage for a few sample leaves, but what about capturing the percentage of disease damage for multiple plants? Let's pull up another image. This is a photograph of cucumber plants on metallized plastic mulch taken with a Sony DSC RX100 compact digital camera. They have downy mildew and the damage is displayed as necrosis on the vines. Go to Image, Adjust, Color Threshold to separate the canopy from the background. Set Hue between 0 and 122, Saturation between 58 and 255, and brightness between 9 and 255. Click select when you are satisfied. Now that the canopy is selected, we will need to set the background color to white. Go to image, color, and then um, color picker. Double click the, um, the B in the CP window and then fill 255 in for all three cells in the background color window. Then click OK and then close the CP window. Go to edit and then clear outside. Since we set the background color to white, um, clearing outside will result in a white background. The next step is to use the paintbrush tool or process noise remove outliers to remove pixels that are not leaves. We are just going to go ahead and use the paintbrush tool. So um, deselect and then use the paintbrush tool. Still have the settings from earlier. Brush with 50, color white, um, paint on overlay, not checked. Okay. Um, we're just going to remove all this junk. Um, now another way to do this actually, which might make it a little bit faster, just gonna use the freehand selection tool for some of this junk. Okay, and then um, clear outside again. There we go. Deselect that. Then select the paintbrush tool and get stuff a little bit closer. Love that shortcut. Um, actually, this stuff is pretty small, so um, I'm going to go ahead and um, process um, noise, remove outliers. Okay, let's see how big the outliers need to be in order for this to work. We still have dark selected. Um, Maybe like five in this case. Let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. You can go ahead and select that. Okay. Um, so then we cleared all of the uh, noise and we cleared the background. Um, so we're going to save this image. File save as TIFF uh, with a unique name. Um, no background. We're going to save. And then um, we're going to close that image. And we're going to um, open it again. There we go. Now that kind of resets it so we can um, select threshold again without it resetting the image. So we're going to go to our threshold color picker. Um, we're going to try to select the entire um, image area and because we changed some things around. Um, we can't use the same settings. We have to play with it a little bit and that seems to work so we're going to go ahead and select that. Um, now we're going to go to process binary make binary. 
uh, which makes our image into a binary image. And then we're going to go to Analyze, Measure, or Control N. Um, and then we're going to record the results from that. Now notice that this is actually still in pixels, but it doesn't really matter because we're using this information to um, get the, um, the um, percentage of disease damage. Um, so anyway, this is the total canopy area, um, which in this case is 7989654. Now that we've got that recorded, um, we're going to go ahead and um, save this processed image with a unique name. So there we go. Um, this one is um, total. Go ahead and save that. And then we're going to um, close that image. We're going to open up the um, scale, the, the no background image again. We're going to do the same thing, except we're going to capture the disease canopy area. So let's go to our color threshold. Um, we're going to go 0 to 45. And then um, saturation between 0 and 155. And then um, the brightness, we're going to go um, from 0 to 254. Um, go ahead and select. Then we're going to go to um, process binary make binary. Um, and that gives us the um, diseased leaf area. We're going to just um, measure and record um, disease canopy area, which in this case is 504350. And then in order to calculate the percentage of disease damage, we are going to divide the diseased canopy area by the total canopy area. And then we're going to multiply that whole thing by 100, and voila. Well, that concludes movie number five. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please like our video, and please subscribe to our channel, and hopefully see you again soon.